As a parent, the worst thing I fear is one of my children dying before I pass. It's something we all share as loving parents. We live to see our babies grow and embark on a journey to be better than we could have ever imagined. But on the contrary, how bad does your life have to be where you feel that your only option is infanticide? Yes, the killing of your own baby. This is the story of Margaret Garner. She was an enslaved mulatto woman and she married a fellow slave, Robert Garner. In that same year, their enslaver's brother took over the plantation. Three of Margaret's children, Samuel, Mary, and Priscilla were mulattoes, each born five to seven months after the enslaver's children were born, suggesting that sex when his wife was unavailable was happening with Margaret. Margaret Garner, her husband, her family, they all ran away. And when caught, she killed her infant with a butcher knife and wounded her other children and herself in an attempt to commit suicide. But given this circumstance, you think about love. Can you love your child so much that you would kill them so that they don't suffer like you did? I ask you what is love? There is no greater love than the love of your own child. What is resistance? What is resistance when you have no power? What happens to love when society doesn't allow you to love yourself? What happens to love when you aren't loved and your society perpetuates the notion that you are of lesser value? What happens when we realize we are equal and that we just gotta love? Listen to Margaret Garner, a song from the American.